After two weeks holiday, if I stay here, I will be able to get a little bit of a long time. I feel very refreshed after two, uh, two and a half weeks. Amen. I will be able to get a little bit of a long time. I will be able to get a little bit of a long time. I will be able to get a little bit of a long time. So thank you, thank you for your prayers, thank you for um, praying for us while we were away. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of testimony and this is why this song, The Blood of Jesus, uh, really speaks volume to me this morning. Now, to be honest with you, with you, we had a car accident, and uh, we were lucky to be alive. And uh, we had an accident at the motorway, and uh, the Lord sent an angel to protect us from having a very bad one. So we were, we were very shocked. I went back to where the accident happened, and uh, I stood there, and I was amazed. I was amazed that the angel came and because of the blood of Jesus. Amen. Let me honestly say, um, every morning I, I get up in the morning and I bleed the blood of Jesus on all of you. And uh, we bleed the blood of Jesus on us. And, uh, and uh, I know for, uh, for a fact that, uh, that the blood of Jesus cover us uh, uh, on that day. And for a long time, I had a couple accident and I thought, if the Lord didn't send the angel, uh, we will have been gone, honestly. It would have been a very nasty one because it's right in the motorway. And, and so God has uh, helped us and uh, we will be blessed to be alive. Amen? Amen? Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, you must be blessed to be alive. Yeah? Now we had an accident. Yeah, thank God that uh, that we are alive and uh, nobody was injured. What well, we'll all fight Jane Ellen sent my to uh, she was an angel to stop us from entering the motorway. And uh, we were about to turn into the motorway and this lady just smashed us and uh, and took us to the side of the road and uh, and I look at the the whole scene and I thought, man, if we had entered the motorway we will be history. Because God we're going at speed. Amen. For his grace and mercy and the blood of Jesus that saved us. Obviously, I, I was not able to be here on Christmas Day and New Year's Eve, uh, but here's a message uh, for last year. 2022 is the year of release. This is the 2021 to 2022 was supposed to be the sabbatical year. In fact, it is the sabbatical year. In the Jewish calendar, Shmita is the year of release. Have we got on screen? Say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, Twenty twenty one, we were in Australia, but is and smita means the year of release. So uh, smita is commonly used to refer to a sabbatical year. 2022, a umai end died the smita year, uh, and then we are now into uh, 5783. So the next seven years, 
uh, Umalofe Kaulis Vico Sanga, so 25783, uh, which is 2023, uh, counting another seven years. Then the seventh year will be another Smith year, meaning it's sabbatical year or the year of release. So the Smith year, which is last year, Deuteronomy 15, verse 1 to 2, from the Mole. Uh, so let's have a look at the verse. See, this is why it's very crucial to understand. Every year I will look into the Hebrew calendar and because it can lenga le fa eperu olo o fa matala maya ta to le mela uma na tu si el finangalo le tu. Amen. So, say to my one verse le fa mo le mole sa. Deuteronomy 15 verse 1 to 2 in English. So at the end of every seventh year, you must cancel the debts of everyone who owes you money. This is how it must be done. Everyone must cancel the loans they have made to their fellow Israelites. They must not demand payment from their neighbors or relatives. For the Lord's time of release has arrived. So, 2022 was the seventh year, was, which was supposed to be the Smith year. I have a Israel. Now, for you, uh, 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 are also Israeli by faith. You are Israelites by faith. So, we are also included in this covenant because of our faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. But it is for us also because we are by faith belong to, to God, same as the Israelites. So I'll fight on the eleventh May. At uh, on the seventh year, which is the Smith year, I'm going to say, "O may I come to fight? Cancel all the debts." So anybody who owes you something, uh, even if you had a million dollars not being paid back to you by law and by command of God, you must cancel the loan. So the debtors is free. Can you imagine people who are paying mortgages? And on the Smith year, according to the law of God, the bank will tell you, Mr. Polo, you don't have to pay anything. The debt now is canceled. Come on, people. We're saving a great God. We're serving the most amazing God. Secondly, you must cancel the loans that people made to other fellow Christians. So if anybody borrows money from you on the Smith year or the seventh year, you are not allowed to get back the money from the people that owe you. You must cancel it. The Bible says do not demand any more payment from the people that owes you money. Because on a smitter year is the year of release. Amen, Chet? So it's a smitter year, it's the year of release, it's the year where you're supposed to release. Now, we are included in this commandment. Come on, Chet. We are included. They go into another year with a lot of debts. You go into the next year 
with a lot of things that you have not been able to release and let go. That's the reason I like on a suit for you, Mela, I lay suya, Mela, Kupuya, Kioi, or Mela, I lay loco for Mangalo, the Laka Usanga. You're going into 2023 with another loads of unforgiveness and bitterness in your heart. When the Bible commanded us 2022 is a smitter year, you must release all those rubbish. Okay, long ala o ko wel to tell o tanga ta le le wo o mai fo ile lu o me nga o la pishing sa o ma o ile lu ha fe 2022 o linga ya ke mo because to you you are saying I'm entitled to an apology I'm entitled to be to be a peace Amen Amen church Amen na isa o lo la ile lu ha fe lu fu de to lu mala ngo ngo le maula pishi See, some people are walking around with bitterness in their hearts. With loads of unforgiveness. Hallelujah, Lord. So you, you only have the change of numbers, but what's happening inside you has not changed. Because you are holding on something that the Lord said, let go, man, let go, let go of this. Whatever happens in Lua, it is time for you to let go of those rubbish. Amen? Amen. So the message for us in 2022, cancel the debts of everyone that owes you money. Just cancel it. You know what? You must cancel it. It's a commandment from the law. Cancel it. No, no, it's not. You see, the Bible is for all of us. From Genesis to Revelation, hallelujah, Lord, the word of God is still the same. Cancel the debts of everyone who owes you an apology. Because God said, it's a smitter year, it's a year of release, you must release. Hallelujah. I tell you, when the Lord said, let go of this rubbish, you're carrying it around, it's damaging, it's destroying you. Hallelujah. Cancel the laws that people have made to you. Well, okay, like I call, maybe you don't have a loan. But what is that rubbish you're carrying in your heart? Unnecessary. Uh -huh. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. The Smitha year 2022 waves all outstanding debts between debtors and creditors. That person must be forgiven. You must release your forgiveness. Amen. Amen. Now here's a message of Apostle Paul. Romans 13 verse 8. Paul said, let no debt remain outstanding. You may be entitled to an apology, but because the smitten year, hallelujah, Lord, commanded us that you must release it without having to receive an apology. Even though you are right. That person may be very wrong. But the Bible says the smitter year is a year of release, meaning let no debt remain outstanding. Oh. 
I tell you, other people may never be able to give you an apology. But unless you release, you'll never be free. You'll be bound, you'll be controlled by that bitterness inside. You will be destroyed by the unforgiveness. When all of us who walk into 2023 feel with the Holy Spirit of God, no more stuff of 2022, hallelujah, Lord. See, this is why the Lord commanded his people, the smitten year is the year of release, and everybody is commanded to let go. Church, there's so many of us who are going from one year into another year to another year with the rubbish of the fall of the last previous years. And as a result, it's damaging your life. Stopping your success is stopping you moving forward. Hallelujah, Lord. And it's destroying everything that you're trying to achieve. Because every time you come to fire, you say, man, this thing is troubling your mind. And so your focus is being diverted. Paul said, let no debt remain outstanding except the debt to love one another. Now, for former my Ole Aika Lafulea that we will never be able to pay is to love one another. Well, you may say, you may say, well, you know what? That's human beings. You gotta understand four types of love in a heap, I mean, a Greek language. Number one is philios, it's a friendship love. It fails because it's a human love. It fails because it depends on circumstances. So gay is a parent children love. Hallelujah. It fails also because it's a human love. Eros is a human love. It's a, ma- it's a couple's love. It fails because it depends on circumstances. Hallelujah, Lord. But the Bible demands us the love of God. And this is what Paul is saying. The continuing debt that we must pay to people is to love people. In spite of their faculties. Amen. 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 And you know what? You will try to get somewhere. You will be stuck in the same thing because you are being you are being bombarded by this thinking. Hallelujah, Lord, of unforgiveness and bitterness. Hallelujah, Lord. The Bible says, let go of every rubbish of 2023, uh, 2022. Hallelujah, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. It is now time for us to empty out the 2022. Because unless you do that, hallelujah, Lord, there is no space for the Holy Spirit to come and bring the new stuff into our lives. Hallelujah, Lord. Because anything that is not new, hallelujah, Lord, can never, can never be sitting together with the Holy Ghost. Twenty twenty three five seven eight three is called the Rosh Hashanah. Is the anniversary of creation. Well, it's a song I lay if I'm not too wild, man, for you, I lay two, I'm a four for in a lay two, all in a little longy. Hallelujah, Lord. So five seven eight three Rosh Hashanah is a Jewish new year which begins the next seven year cycle. So I umma lola smith a year, the year of release. Onga koi a makala ia leo o isi kausanga e fiku o le kausanga mo mo alalinge o le kausanga nge ka o le Rosh Hashanah. It is the it is the new year in the Jewish calendar. It begins the next seven year cycle. Now Rosh Hashanah is the anniversary of the creation of Earth, or the anniversary of the creation of mankind. 
or the, the anniversary of the beginning of all creation. Church, mankind begins with God. Mankind journey together with God. And mankind end in God. A maka leakua, e ofa kasi maleakua, e tau nufa kasi maleatua, e mele tato teo yai. Afafonga mai. God cannot journey with you if you are not releasing the things that you are supposed to release. God begins a new life in you and me. And His intention is to take us all to the destination which is eternal life. I am a finger cacko chin if I can see Malia Kua, the man of Apea, a layadu la Kua, that God is the God of forgiveness. I like Akula Kua, let go, release. I like a cow pepe in a mea. I am a finger who over Cassim Malia Kua. I am a finger cacko over Cassim Malia Kua, Bafa Pea, or Lemma Malia Kua, and let go me or the lack of Sanga, release or that last year's meter here. It is disobedience to God. And people will say, I have got the right to receive an apology. Well, you've got the right. That's the problem with us. Rights, human rights. Hallelujah, Lord. I tell you, although we may have the right, hallelujah, Lord, but I tell you, we don't have any right. We are slaves to the Lord. Paul said, I am a slave of Jesus Christ. I don't have any right when I belong to Jesus. He tells me to let go. I let go. You should do. Why are you holding on to the rubbish of last year? Why? It's not going to bless you. It's going to haunt you. You should let go of the rubbish of 2022. Hallelujah, Lord. Then that's what we're supposed to do. Hallelujah, Lord. All we have to do is say, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I let go. Are you going to go into 2023 with the same things? The number will only be changing, but your situation will never change. Your destination will also never change. Hallelujah, Lord. Because God cannot journey together with those people that are bitter and unforgiving. Hallelujah, Lord. A matta ele tua. Kako ke ofa kasi male kua. E te tau na tatu tau nu fa kasi male tua. Filipio na mata mo mo fa upa ono ia. O o moti no la vale nei mea. O ia na mata ina nga lunga lele tu tonu ia te o tou. E fa ato o tou ina ilava e ia e o atu lava. Ile aso Yesu Kerisi. Now here's what Apostle Paul said. I am certain that God who began the good work within, within you. So he started an amazing work inside you. The day he saved you, he cleaned you, he set you free, hallelujah Lord. He made an amazing beginning and start in your life, inside. And then Paul said, he will continue to do the work. But your job and my job is to allow God to do the work. He will, he will finally finish it. He will finally complete it. Ole akua na ile faime fo ile le nga fa maka osi ile fa uma ole akua fa fa mai nga ke a maka le nga lu nga le lei lo roto 
Na te continue be fa a wau le ngalu nga le lei lo lo to. Hallelujah Lord. Say ya o nga ma kwa ma e a ma fa ka ngu nga le lei ma ka ngo fie me a uma ile a so e fa ali ma yai ke riso ya ta to. Let that one man tell you, Malio, Uncle Rachel, Leon, and Malio. You don't know when you're going to go, man. Imagine if you die all of a sudden with rubbish, with unforgiveness and bitterness and hatred and all that kind of chess. Imagine dying with rubbish in your life. Imagine not sorting out the things that you need to sort out. Didn't you read the verse I gave you? You must get to the debt. Why is that you are here with a lot of debt inside your heart? Don't ever, 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 you better listen to this message. Because it is the same fallacy that most people fall into every year from year to year. We are going into the next year with a rubbish. Paul said, I'm certain that he who began a good work within you will continue his work until it's finally finished on the day when Christ Jesus returns. That's the reason why but on the day you got saved, you gave your life to the Lord, that was the day the Lord began a good work in you. The Bible says he will continue. And he will finish it and complete the work in you. God started the good work within you. And he will be faithful to continue the work until the day the Lord Jesus will return. Church, do not lock yourself in the past. Don't lock yourself in the past. Don't let the past define you. Don't let the past define you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Don't let the past control your life. Some people will say, I'm like this because of what happened to me. Whatever happens to you, I may never understand. But the Bible says, Hallelujah, Lord, let go of the past. It is time to let it go. Don't blame others for your fate. Yes, others may be responsible for where you are. Hallelujah, Lord. But you have the golden opportunity from the Lord Jesus to make changes. Hallelujah, Lord. Don't say, I can't let go of the past because everybody can. It is your pride. It is your arrogant. Everybody can let go. Come on, church. Everyone can let go of the past. But whatever the past may be, hallelujah, Lord. We know that God is a God of change. He can change somebody 
He can change anybody, hallelujah, Lord. He can pick up the nobody and turn into somebody, hallelujah, Lord. Your situation may be bad yesterday, hallelujah, Lord. But the Lord Jesus is present here today. He is ready to begin the great work within you. And he'll be ready to complete it, hallelujah, Lord. He will journey with you until everything is completed. The Lord says, I'm doing a new thing. Forget the former things, do not dwell on the past. See, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness, in the streams of a wasteland. The Bible says the Lord is opening up new opportunities. Yes. The devil is hoping to heal your chances. But God is God himself. He said, I'm going to open a new way for you. So, a poloka is a walla. I can call a little cool walla. Hallelujah, Lord. A poloka is a little cool walla. I can call a little cool walla. Hallelujah, Lord. Only male, 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 when the Lord God opened away an opportunity, nobody can close it. Amen. So the promise is this. God is opening up a new opportunity. Hallelujah, Lord. Then compare the yellow past. But the opportunity will open the yellow past. God is a God of new things. He's an open uh, door person who opens up opportunities for all of us. And also new streams. Do you not perceive it? Hallelujah, Lord. Only blind people don't see opportunities. Hallelujah, Lord. If you have two eyes, hallelujah, Lord, you should be able to see the door open in front of you. If I can explain about doors, the little things I saw in life, hallelujah, Lord. When, uh, uh, when, I, when I was not going to school, I remember, in education, I took that opportunity with two hands, hallelujah, Lord. Little opportunity, hallelujah, Jesus. Any little opportunity that opens up, I grab it with two hands. Hallelujah. The Bible says, you can perceive it. Hallelujah. My house was about to be repossessed by the bank. Hallelujah. I saw the little opportunity of a business. I grab it with two hands. I saved that house and bought another seven bedroom house. Do you not perceive it? Why you go? Apollo Missy le kuwa se kangaka. Ele feyo le kuwa e provide langa Apollo Missy. Apollo Missy le kuwa kangaka ele feyo le kuwa langa Apollo Missy. Fa kaungu ele kuwa Apollo Missy pe ao inga e mala malama pe ma isaya. Do you not perceive it? Or if I think I only lay up and cut with my tail, Tahone. Whatever of the king of Wale, I may fall and hang a hallelujah law. Now, Makala Valley and hang a Mafayena, a law of a more yaka kala letua. Because the Lord said, I will open a new way. Your job is to see. There's so much, there's so much opportunities opening up. 
All I'm hearing, the cost of living is too high. All I'm hearing now, it's too expensive. Everything is too expensive. Hallelujah, Lord. Yes, it's too expensive, but our God is able. He is more than able. Hallelujah, Lord. Whatever man control here on earth, God is in control. He is just sitting on the throne. Hallelujah, Lord. My God is my supplier. Everything is going up. But my God goes higher than that. My God goes higher than that. Everything is going up. My God can go higher than that. A lot higher than that. I never met Kana Kuspa here. Do you not perceive it? People that are not willing to let go are locked in their past. They are locked. And if you do not let go one year, two years, three years, four years, five years, ten years, and when you reach 60, you're going like this. You are beginning to walk like this. You're still locked in the past. You have missed all the opportunities and things that the Lord has opened up for you. You have completely missed it because you are pita inside. You are pita inside. You're not able to let go of yesterday. That is holding you back. And you'll end up with lost years. The years where you're supposed to enjoy life. The years where you're supposed to enjoy success. You're locked in the past. Come on, Jets. I was sitting on this message thinking about my own life. Before I give you this message, this message had already spoken into my own life. I do not want to be locked in the past. I want to enjoy the things that God had already installed for me in this life before I go to be with the Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. For, for my, you should enjoy life here before you, you make it to heaven. Hallelujah, Lord. Heaven is nice, but the earth is nice too. Earth is very nice too. Philippians chapter 3, verse 13, 14. Apostle Paul, words of encouragement. Dear brothers and sisters, I have not achieved it, for I focus on this one thing, forgetting the past and look forward to what lies ahead. I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize, for which God, through Christ Jesus, is calling us. Let me, let me just go through the verse. Here's what the boss of boss said. Number one, focus on this one thing. Forget the past. The only things that you need to put in your memory are the things that are, that are going to bless you. For example, the things that I must store in my memory is the history of the church. The only thing I must store in my memory is the word of God. The only thing that you must store in your memories are the things that is going to bless many others. Any other rubbish, let go. Paul said, I focus on one thing. That is forgetting the past. This is what I learned from the history. And the history is the past. 
When I study the church history, I see patterns. I see patterns in the history of the church. When I study the history of the church in Samoa, I see the pattern that is repeating over years. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. For me, what I do with the history is I learn from the mistakes of the history. Anything that is haunting you, anything that is holding you back, any bitterness and unforgiveness that is in your heart, let go of that rubbish. You're happy, you're relating to people, you're doing your stuff, you're moving forward, you're enjoying it. I say, well, like if you're white, my mouth is busy. It's a little crappy over there. You fight, woo over there. You look like you're whatever. We need soldiers that are ready for 2023. We need people that are ready and not being disturbed, not but disturbed by the things that happened yesterday. Amen. Number two, look forward to what lies ahead. With greatest anticipation. I'm excited about tomorrow. I'm excited about what's going to happen tomorrow. On this holiday, I spend a lot of time thinking about the next building, the next church. I'm excited to see this new building coming. I'm excited about what's going to happen. Hallelujah. I'm excited about what I'm going to leave behind as a legacy. I look forward to the future. The only thing I don't look forward to the future is old age. With all the pains and aches and stuff. But I look forward to what God is going to do. The more I grow old, the more wiser I become. I'm excited about tomorrow. I'm excited. I look forward to what lies ahead. So why should you be bound by the things of yesterday? Why should you be bound by the stuff of yesterday? Why should you be stopped? Life is too short. We must enjoy life. Oh, what an incredible thing I did in the last two weeks. I go golf every day. And I'm thinking, heaven is here, man. <laughs> oh, this is like heaven. Golf every day. Wow. It was so nice. Hallelujah. But if you tell me, did you ever want to come back? I said, yes. I'm excited about tomorrow. I'm excited about the church. I'm excited about what God is going to do. Matthew and Rachel, be ready to go back. The best thing to do in life is to serve God. There is nothing better than serving God. If you die in a mission field, that is, that is the greatest sacrifice you could do. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. There's nothing good for us here on earth. Heaven is the, the place to go. Heaven is the place to go. Number three, press on to reach the end of the race. Paul said, I press on to the end of the race. Hallelujah. I don't want to stop in the middle. But there are many people who stop in the middle. Hallelujah. I remember I 
There's nothing more you can do. Now is the only time to prepare. Imagine I have a pair. Why I don't have a ngofo? A ngofo ngofo. I find out look at me. I find out look at me. I find out look at me. I have a horse. I'm a little strong. Oh, a ngofo. La la la. Well, I am a sissy man. I find quite fine. It's like a whole race. It's the end. The little race. Lal me wale ngale enre wale enre race ele ole akua o ka ko wa ya hallelujah look forward to receive the prize one of the most amazing thing okay lo nga we oh i remember the day i topped the class i remember the day i walked to the front and i remember being announced up <laughs> being announced up the number 1 Okay, man, yeah, the feeling, ah, okay, love, I could have a pair of Mika, or go to see the same. I look at the Langonga, the feeling. I look forward to receive the prize. The feeling, la, the male, the prize, the little Kalamoa, why? I remember the moment um, when we got to President Team. 20,000 people were screaming their heads off. They were clapping their hands. Oh, new executive president team, Seppi and so on. I I I gave back back and I can I remember the feeling the feeling I felt I remember the feeling of standing on a, on a stage and 20 plus thousand people were clapping their hands for us Ke le mimika kula ko se menga kupu ya au au ke fa ke ko le langonga le ngo langonga inga le mele au fa ku se kusala le price le mai e si ri ya ku la langonga le because millions and billions of angels will be clapping their hands for me to receive the price so you should aim to get it ko akele kanga kanga luluwe a ile ko kele ngi se mongi la ko prices Many le kale si ye fa malosi kale lo five five seven eight three sow into your spiritual life sow faithfulness sow dedication and commitment to the Lord sow into your prayer life prayer prayer move mountains kale lo prayer changes situation so instead of focusing in your wanga ngafi ko anga kakalo oloto anga detalo yo ese inga me ke ma fo fa yai. So into encouraging others, keep on running the race. So into the kingdom purposes, hallelujah, Lord. To church vision and the mission, hallelujah, Lord. Keep sowing for the next seven years will be the smitter year, hallelujah, Lord. Will be the year of release. All the debts are canceled. The harvest is coming, hallelujah, Lord. Isaiah God is opening up new ways. He is opening up new streams, hallelujah, Lord. Let me close by saying this. Number one, you must empty yourself out of the rubbish of 2022. I know it's hard, and I'm sorry, but I need to finish the message. Empty yourself out. And number two, God cannot fill you with new things of 2023. If you have been filled with the carpets of 2022, cancel all the debts of everyone that owes you whatever. Anyone who owes you an apology, cancel that apology. Tell that person, I don't need an apology. I'm done. I'm, I'm finished. I'm happy. Amen. You're my brother. You're my sister. Let's talk. Let's cancel all the debts. Do not demand payment. Let no debt remain outstanding except the continuing debt to love one another. Hallelujah, Lord. Church, I want you to stand on your feet. I want you to do something special this morning. That's the two light my nature. I'll make love peace.
Lava no one, eh, to a tear toy. That you search into your own heart and bring out all the rubbish of 2022. Why don't you ask the Holy Spirit to reveal you the things that are hidden inside your heart? And let me honestly tell you, David said, Lord, say it's my heart. That's what he said. Say it's my heart, O Lord. And know anything that is not good that you see. I want you to lift up your hands to the Lord and say, Lord, today I'm going to empty out my life. I'm going to empty out all the rubbish. I'm going to empty out all the things that shouldn't be there in my life. In your own words, you say, Lord, I let go of these things. Because Because no more the Lord, when the Holy Spirit comes to you, hallelujah, Lord, He sees as nothing is inside, so He comes inside and makes you joyful. So lift up your hands to the Lord and say, Lord, I let go of 2022. All the things, all the things that is hindering me, all the things that is not of you. Your disappointments, your, your bitterness, your hard feelings towards anybody. Unforgiveness and bitterness, it is time to let go. I wish say, man, now let go, let go, say, Lord, I let go of all these things. 2023 is a new year. It's a Rosh Hashanah. That we should be celebrating what the Lord God has done. He has created the universe for your blessing and mine. Hallelujah, Jesus. Let's sing that song. Oh, hallelujah, Father. Hallelujah, Jesus. Refresh my heart, Lord. Renew my life. Pour your spirit into my soul. Refresh my Send me a 
you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Secondly, my joy. Angasala mamea leanga de tatu foyel tau sanga lenteni. The things, O Lord, thou of your fear ye tatu ono leangasala. Ono mea na tatu foyel le lato sanga o mavayat. We never own up to the Lord. This is your opportunity to release those things. You yourself, you yourself, tell God what happened. And tell him that you're sorry for what you did. If God commanded us to cancel our debts, I can tell you, God is more interested in him forgiving us. So why don't you lift up your hands to the Lord and say, Lord, I'm sorry for what I made, for what I did last year. I'm so sorry for all the rubbish and the things I did that is hurting you. This is a time for you to say, Lord, I'm so sorry. So sorry for the things I have done last year that hurt you. A fai fai mai le tu e ta to ta to te fa mang alo ma let go e si le tu la na fa mang alo ta to we le tu a pe a e fai ya tu ya te ya he will be willing to let go of all the things that I, that we have done last year Jesus I thank you Father I give you all the glory and honor praise Look for another song Guru shara ba 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 da sanda da mara ya sia ki ya matoro son I bless you, Jesus. In your own words, say, Lord, I'm sorry. He is faithful. He is faithful to forgive us. Hallelujah, Lord. Let's not play church. Let's be serious with our lives with the Lord. Hallelujah, Father. I thank you, Jesus. I give you all the glory and honor and praise. I thank you, Jesus, for being an amazing God. Thank you, Father, for your forgiveness, Lord. Mato lole li ye ele ise me ana te ma fayo na ta ofi le lo loto ma le ma wa lungo lo lo fa ya ma to ta ma that you are so willing to forgive us hallelujah father i bless you jesus i give you all the glory and honor i thank you for your forgiveness lord hallelujah father in the name of jesus i thank you for your forgiveness i am surrounded by peace Realizing your own that I need, I come to you, Holy God. Placing my shame at the foot of your cross, I don't.
Hallelujah, Father. Lord, I have delivered your word. I thank you for your word. I thank you, dear Holy Spirit, for your anointing. I thank you, Jesus, for all that you have done. I give you back all the glory and honor and praise. Amalau de talole liye, yefa pena na tia i sme ole ananafi. Lord God, we are going to run the 2023, Lord God, with a new mindset, with a new heart, with a new attitudes. We are going to run the race, Father, to complete it according to your purposes, Father. May the name of Jesus be glorified. We give you all the glory and honor and praise. You are the oil of a man. You are the oil of the evil. You are the oil of a man. Oh, what glory, Lord. Glorify your name. We bless you, Jesus, and thank you, Lord. And God's people will shout. Amen. One, two, three. To God be the glory forever and ever.